Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. If you are new here, welcome. Um, today's video is something I haven't done before, which is a try on video. And also my intro to this video is in a new location. I'm sitting here holding the camera selfie style. There is a stuffed arm above my head and other sewing tools. Yep, that's my sewing station. It is messy. The sewing studio is messy, but that's real life. So yeah, let me get back to the video that I'm talking about that you're going to be watching. So I'm going to... I actually film these and take pictures of my makes in my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's my setup, my bathroom slash photo studio. So I will try to improve upon, um, you know, the quality and, and, you know, just get better as I go along. So please let me know. Your feedback is super appreciated. And I just hope you enjoy. First up is my make for the Minerva Makers Ambassador Program. This is a cotton jersey knit using Simplicity 8874. So it's a nice fit and flare dress. It is super comfortable. It does have bust starts, which you can't really see. It's hidden there in this abstract print fabric. It's short sleeve, which I wanted because I wanted to be able to throw on a blazer and not have sleeves get bunched in. So you can wear sneakers, make it casual, or put on some dressier pumps like I have here and a jacket and you can wear it to the office if you still go to the office these days. Next we have the Lucerne top from Hey June Patterns and this is a rayon chalet that I got from Sew Over It a couple of years ago and this is just an easy top v-neck um, and tie sleeves. It's cute. I wouldn't normally wear it but I wanted to do something with this fabric and try out the Hey June pattern and this is what I came up with. And I will definitely be making this pattern again. Next is the Sagebrush Blouse by Friday Pattern Company. And this is in a rayon chalet from Art Gallery. It's got pretty flowers and hummingbirds. You can't really tell, but it's got a ruffle across the front and then a tie back. This is probably one of my favorite makes that I have made of all time, actually. And I'm going to be making many more Sagebrush blouses, I believe. Love the puff sleeve. The fabric is amazing. You know Art Gallery never disappoints. I just, I love the pattern. I can't say enough about the pattern. I can't say enough about the fabric. And quite frankly, the combination of the pattern and the fabric. I love it. And now we have the Maeve skirt by True Bias. This is in the shorter length. So you've got two tiers. The bottom tier is gathered. You've got a drawstring. I have some metal beads on there. Um, the pattern does come in a maxi length. This is in, I believe, some sort of like tinsel denim I got from Joanne. I, I really like this pattern. I'm going to be making many skirts in the short and the longer length. It's just, it's super fun to wear. You can wear it casual with these sneakers or I have on these metallic wedge sandals so you can dress it up a bit. I love things, clothes that are versatile where you can dress up or down. I think you're seeing a theme here. I do want to point out that that top is store-bought, unfortunately. Next is the Sun Top by P&M Patterns. I paired this with some black skinny jeans and some combat boots. I thought I needed to balance out the pink since I'm not used to wearing pink. Um, but I like how the combination looks and, you know, you can wear all kinds of shoes with this outfit. Um, I do love pairing it with this green denim jacket that I bought at Nordstrom, so it's not me made. Haven't made a denim jacket yet. Hope to in the future. 
Last but not least is the Bondi pattern from Sinclair. This was just re-released to have an add-on sleeve pack, which you see here is the short puffy sleeve with a band. I made this as part of the pattern testing and I, I love it. It's in a sequin boucle fabric and you should check out the pattern. They've just got many different sleeve options. And I'm wearing this with a pair of um, just slacks and some black suede pumps. So, you know, dressing it up a little bit but you can do just so much with this pattern. I'm going to be making many, many more of these tops and, and different variations. All right, that is all I have for you this month. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it went by pretty quickly. So let me know what you think and I'll probably change up the format a bit and do film these videos and talk through as I'm wearing the outfit. Hopefully that will be a little bit better but this is the start to what I hope will be a great video series. Thank you so much for watching.